As you might recall on my channel, I've got a 150 watt CO2 laser, 600 by 900, decent size, fantastic for cutting heavy stuff. Problem is, whenever I want to go and cut something thin like paper, it's got air assist and that tends to blow the paper around and you end up recutting stuff or bits go missing or all kinds of drama. So I thought to pick up myself one of those blue LED laser heads and I had that wired up with this machine for a little while but I still had the air assist problem. So this project is all about solving that problem. I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so this is the project we've got at hand. I started off with this Core XY laser engraver parts of a instructable couple of issues. Obviously, they've designed for 8mm rods and I've got 12mm rods. Um, my bushings are also quite a bit bigger, so none of it's going to fit there, which means spacings for the bushing has got to change. This laser holder is for a smaller size laser. In the end, basically, it's easy just to throw them away and start again. So, the open SCAD started to model the Core XY platform. I've got my two X shafts and bushes, two Y shafts and bushes, just working on the end caps, then I'll work on these pieces, then I'll work on the belt drive, and then I'll work on the laser head assembly. Uh, shouldn't take a lot. <laughs> So this was revision one of the laser carriage, which was printed on the machine this way up. And there's a bit of deformation around the guide holes. So I shortened it up so it would print on the build plate and printed version two this way up. In order to remove the need for supporting on this face, I also set this whole block to be the same width. So that there was no issues with it when it printed. See, sits flat on a build plate, and then at this end here, the GT2 belt guide. Essentially, that's just designed to capture the belts and have enough engagement so that hopefully it all works. I might have to put a bolt through to keep it clamped up if it stretches over time. But there's a gap there between and I could just put a straight hole through and then there's just a clamp down once it's all in place. But that means that the tension will happen off the steppers and this is just an attachment point. Because one side comes in through the top, one side comes in through the bottom, it's really easy to get it all set up before cutting your belts as well. So you don't run that risk of getting your belt too short.
All right, these designs I'm putting together are going to be shared on Thingiverse. They are my designs based on an original preparation from somebody who had an instructable. I can link to the instructable and also to the Thingiverse designs down below. I've used the GRBL open source firmware for doing the core XY motion control. I've also uh, made the designs parametric in OpenSCAD, which means that if you want to use different size rods, different size bearings, different spacings, have a different sized opening, you basically just plug in the different numbers and off you go. Press the go button and you can cut out and print a set of parts for yourself. The parts are small enough that I was able to print them on an SL1 Prusa resin printer and uh, the quality is just really awesome. So I hope you enjoy the build and I hope to see some of the other tool making competition entries. Good luck guys. There we have it. That's the finished unit. It uses a core XY gantry, two stepper motors, wired in to a rep wrap ramps Arduino board, uh, Arduino Mega 2560. I have taken bolts through so that we've got a clamping arrangement through in the bottom of the cable there. I've run the wiring for the laser power and TTL back to the board here. We've got the pin here driving a TTL in the ground and then the power is coming off this location D10. D10 is feeding 24 volts into this buck converter to drop it down to the 5 volts that the laser requires. And this board is running off 24 volts. Alrighty, so it's got some feet built into it. Other things to note on the belt path, we have an upper and a lower belt path, so there's no contact. The belt path crosses over at this point. So that the inner belt on this side runs to the outside to that stepper up and then back to this side of the carriage and then the other side does the opposite. So it comes through, through this pulley, back up, down the outside, through the stepper and then back to the carriage. So yep, the clamp bolts for the GT2. That's the assembly there. All these pieces are 3D printed patterns. Important with anything like this is that you have parallel belt path, parallel belt path. And in addition to that, that your two layers don't change height through the print path. So that you have parallel through here. And also then parallel, how can we see that? Parallel across there. So these designs are all my own, including these corner brackets by having a, um, a captured bearing in between. It's able to take the tension. 
single hand lift. So it is also portable. It can be hung on a wall out of the way when it's not in use. And then just drop down in place when you want to start cutting with it. Plug power and USB into, and you're off and cutting. Standard 24 volt switching power supply. So we plug our power in there. So, and USB controlled here. I've been using light burn software which has direct control from this GRBL uh, firmware. And there you go. They finished up pretty nicely. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out all the other great TMC 2020 videos.